Greetings Spacelers and welcome to the first Spacelers stream. We are so happy to finally be here doing yeah. this and to have you there as usual um, supporting us. So I'm Karen Hernandez, I'm community manager here in Mercury Steam and I'm with Hernan Ojuel, he's a designer here also. Yeah, hi everyone, how are you guys doing? I'm uh, Hernan Ojuel, I'm a technical game designer for uh, Space Lords. And some of you may uh, know me from either the official forums or maybe the Reddit of the game or the unofficial Discord or I don't know, so many places that I post in. I usually, the nickname that I use though is usually like MSE Ojoel, something like that, yeah. because it's my, my family name. So, but yeah, that's the real me. <laughs> well, amazing. As you guys can see, uh, we have a beautiful wall full of fun art because we think you guys are so talented, uh, we love what you do and we wanted you to be a part of this stream. So we thought this was the best way, but you can also talk with us. How? The chat. You can talk with us and uh, answer, uh, we can answer questions. So uh, what are we going to do today? We are going to start the speaking about Soma. Yes, she's one of the most awaited characters for Space Girls. And you guys have been asking about her a lot. So we decided to start our first streaming, speaking about her origin, where she comes from, and then we can talk about uh, how was to work with the great Stephanie Justa. Then we can speak about the gameplay, how is she, how is the special ability, and then at the end, if you want, you can uh, ask some questions and we can reply to you, your doubts and all. So, Hernan, um, who's Soma? Yeah, who is Soma? So yeah, j let me just uh, rephrase what you said. Like, uh, yes. as, as Karen said, there's a, like, a, like a question time at the end. So yeah. I will be speaking quite a lot about Soma today. So if you guys have questions or something, we will try to keep in, in yeah. touch with you through the chat. But I would recommend maybe wow. writing them down or something so that at the end we can have like a, a, in a, have a more fluid conversation in an easier way. So yeah, who is Soma then? Uh, that's the thing. Soma is the new character that will be coming to the Broken Planet that will be available on Space Lords. She's uh, one of the Umbra Wardock faction. And who, but before we get into gameplay or stuff, uh, who is her? What's her backstory? What's what's her about? You know? mm -hmm. So the thing with Soma, uh, as she, uh, as we call her, she's Soma Algia. So she uh, belongs to some kind of family, yeah. but it's not like a usual family. It's actually it's a creed, and they are located in Cydonia, in a in in a region of, of on on planet Mars. And the mm -hmm. thing with the Algia, these are no, these guys are quite like one of a kind. They, they are, mm -hmm. uh, they are like. Um, I wouldn't say witches, but they are. They have some kind of uh, special gift, mm. as as we would say. I love that. The thing <laughs> you love the gift. Yes, witchcraft. So, <laughs> witchcraft is great. So yeah, the thing about uh, the Algia, these Algia guys, they are really, uh, 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 you know, people of faith. They have a really strict creed and they have these holy writings that they have to memorize and everything revolves around the concept of pain, you know, and that's what Soma is mainly about. It's mm -hmm. mainly about faith and pain, you yes. know. What about pain though? The thing is that uh, the Algia are uh, somewhat like a matriarchal society mm -hmm. in which Soma is just uh, one of the youngest uh, acolytes in this creed and the thing is that uh, it's like not, her capabilities are not like fully evolved yet, but she's a really brilliant and young talent inside the creep. And the thing with the algae is that they have uh, this belief uh, that the uh, red sands of Mars, uh, there's, so there's some, some kind of hidden ancient power inside these sands, you know. And the thing is, they praise the great red worm that they call Feb. And what they can do, uh, you know, by uh, summoning uh, Feb, is that they they are able to somehow, um, you know, relieve pain out of other people, and suffer 
like uh, other people's pain in their bodies. That's what they are all about, you know. They are uh, like pain suckers. I don't know how, oh how, to, say, how to call it, but it's I don't know. It's, it's a weird, weird thing that, that I. But but yeah, that's mainly mainly the thing. Yeah. Cool. So um, we have uh, like a new great uh, screenshot uh, to show you guys because right. we want you to see this amazing mark she has in the back. I love, I especially love this kind of tattoo and later Hernan uh, will uh, talk about uh, the gameplay and how this tattoo works with the special ability and so. So here it is. It's amazing. I love this screenshot. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great shot that we have here. So, what uh, we can say about this mark, this uh, this uh, elements we see, like the this vial of sound. Yeah, like yeah, what we're seeing in the image right now, like someone standing uh, from the back, we can see this vial of sound, as you said, in the uh, lower right yes. uh, part of the of the screenshot, and that's a really really relevant matter for the algae. You know, as I told you before. The algae truly believe that their um, their power is is uh, mainly um, uh, you know it comes through the great red worm that yes. only lives within the red sands of Mars. Mm. So, like like in theory, none of the algae would have any kind of special power mm -hmm. if it wasn't for the presence of the red sands of Mars. Yes. So. That's why we see this vial here, because when she gets sent to the broken planet, mm -hmm. and you will learn more about that on the universe section of the game, or maybe in the, in the question time at the end, if you, if you ask about it, but yeah. the thing is that when she gets sent by the matriarch to the broken planet to join the expedition, you know, with the Umbra Wardrocks, the thing is that uh, part of the whole conflict of Soma is about, uh, you know, uh, believing uh, or not believing and, and you know and to which degree she's yeah. actually believing that mm -hmm. these red suns are granting the algae some kind of a special power and the thing is that's why we see this vial here that's why she's carrying it because it you know it's like in theory I, I won't spoil anything but in theory they it, she actually needs it in order to invoke mm -hmm. you know the red a giant worm fed outside wow. Mars Cool. So, what uh, you can say about this book we have seen in the oh, yeah. first screenshots we released uh, some time ago about Soma? Yeah, the book is also a really important uh, item for her. So, because the, you know, the mainly, uh, you know, as I said before, like the whole idea thing is really based. It's not uh, a scientist kind of thing. Mm -hmm. These guys are not Fifth Council like yeah. or Hades Division like. They are not military, they are not science based, they are all about faith. Yeah. So what she's carrying here are, you know, uh, some of the uh, writings of the Great Red Worm and of the creed of the algae that she has to memorize, you know, on a daily basis. She has to, uh, you know, meditate over them. It's all the beliefs that they, that they uh, had. And also, uh, well, I won't go into detail about it, but maybe in the universe section, either in the universe section or maybe in the weapons descriptions on, on the game, maybe you can find more about how she feels about this whole creed and, and maybe also some, some memories of her too. So it's kind of like, a, it could be also seen like a bit of a diary, you know, this book. Yeah. She's also writing uh, some, uh, some experiences. A spell it's like a spell, well, a spell book. <laughs> You're really into witchcraft. Yes, I. I can see that. <laughs> I especially love this character. I think I'm gonna love uh, when I'm. Well, actually, we want to play with you in the future. So sure. maybe in the next stream we can play with Soma and just talk about the special ability and so. And you'll see, you love her too. So, um, Hernan, what uh, do you think about releasing or? Uh, first uh, teaser trailer about Soma so you guys oh, yeah. can you know just uh, understand who she and then we can talk about Stephanie Houston so let's go Pain I am here to embrace it all 
So yeah. Mm. She's uh, she's an amazing professional. I was uh, fascinated <laughs> by how uh, by how professional she was. Uh, she was here uh, working together with the team, and she was mm, great. Um, I actually could see some uh, when she was mm, doing the photo shoot, so they could could lead or could. Uh, mm, Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Capture the movement. Oh my God! Motion capture uh, to uh, to see how she moves in game. And I don't know. I especially love um, how she works. She's she's great. What do you? Yes, yeah, was we having her at the studio was kind of crazy and, and extremely a positive uh, experience for us. I recall you being quite nervous <laughs> when yes. the first time you ever met me. <laughs> Well, I'm uh, I'm multitasking <laughs> today. I'm doing a lot of stuff. So sorry if I uh, if we um, I don't know if we make some mistakes or something. You can. <laughs> well, they will forgive. We can us. laugh together. They will forgive. Us. <laughs> and yes, I'm kind of nervous, but um, yeah, I think no, there's something that, special. And I meant back then, you know, when Stephanie came yeah. in, it was like wow. Yeah. But yeah, it was really great working with her and the thing with the whole you know that was you guys already know that that was the first time we use like a real life uh, like model for the uh, for the uh, for a character of the yeah. game for uh, for a space lord yes. and the thing is it was kind of different from what we have done in the past but you know even uh, I don't know like cooler and, and I don't know like more fun Mm -hmm. uh, because it was a different kind of experience for us, you know, writing that character, knowing that, knowing that Stephanie would be there, not just her performance, but yeah. her face, and also, as you said, the uh, emotion capture. Yes. That that she, some of the even some of the emotes that she performed for for us. So it was a really cool experience, and also like the, um, I remember. Um, uh, sorry, what, ah, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I, I forgot, yeah. No yeah, problem. The, uh, <laughs> the thing is that uh, Soma Algia is not, is, you know, is no like us, is no, she's, she's like a noble kind of character, mm -hmm. she's all like uh, really good will and, and she's really like a kind of like, a, like an innocent kind of uh, character, which is uh, something that uh, you know, in Space Lords, it's kind of like a like a rare thing, you know. Yeah. Because all characters are, are kind of deranged or kind of extreme in a way. Mm -hmm. But Soma, in a way, is more like a like a noble, uh, you know, innocent kind of character, really young. So it was really cool to uh, to be able to have her portrayed as a Stephanie. Yes. Yeah. The way she looks and the way she delivered. Also, the lines for yes. the in-game in boys of, of the game that yes. was brilliant. Yeah. The voice lining was amazing. Actually, I think it's great you work in some of the voice lines for for her. And I think she she like uh, were transforming uh, from like uh, maybe a sad person to a, a warrior. Like uh, I don't know. I, I like how mm. she she how she fits the character. Yeah. I think it's, it's amazing. Totally right. So you guys, uh, what you're seeing now uh, is uh, it's people here in this, the studio working on the concept arts and and the 3D for for the character, and it's amazing as you can see how uh, Stephanie. Uh, I don't know how they took Stephanie as a reference to make the movements and then to uh, put it into the game. So yeah, I think she did a great work. Um, I, I, I know <laughs> most people here or all people in the studio um, loved her visit, and I'm. I want you guys to see her finally. Uh, we can say uh, <laughs> a release date for now, but um, we'll announce it very soon. Promise. Um, well, uh, here you can see. Uh, that beautiful picture about yeah, her. Yeah, that was the uh, voice like recording sessions that we had with yes. her, and that's uh, you know because of the nature of how space lords 
works, you know, in, through the four campaigns of the game. The thing is that, uh, mo to some degree, most of the uh, of the uh, performance that the actors deliver are mainly, you know, present in the in-game dialogues, yes. either cutscene dialogues or you know during the shootings or whatever. It's mainly. You know, that's the closest that you can be to the character when you are playing as her, or maybe another yeah. teammate is playing as her. So that was extremely important to really get it right. Yes, she has this uh, special strength when doing the voice, uh, the voiceover. But uh, if you guys, uh, if you guys want, um, let's see a very special video. Cortez, do you copy? my soul when it leaves my flesh. Ancient blessings are still at play in this temple. Can you feel it too, Cortez? I feel a great mystical power within that dollar. The olive is flowing again. The temple comes back to life. Merciful no, no, she's, she's Have great. compassion she's for your servant soul. Um, I don't know, I love uh, watching her. May the this. great worm expel the great. souls of his enemies she, into she eternal darkness. The character so well. So yeah, uh, what do you think if true. we uh, talk about the, the power of the shamans of the broken planet is going to work and Sure. And so There's one thing. Could I please say just like one more sure. little thing about the Hanko? Is that recording? The great red because it was really cool. What happened? Cortez, you know, we were recording we must with leave her, this temple and the thing is that, that you know when you're recording, Cortez, there's so many lines of the oh, God, different missions yeah. of the game. You it's a really it long and complicated task. You know? Ancient blessings and the thing is that you know we had her performing a song, and that was like the you know like the first time that she was actually like voice performing that character. We she had read the lore entries for that. We had given her all kind of you know like background for the character, but that was like the first time that she was actually being someone. Yeah, merciful fact. And it was really cool and, 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 and also impressive. It was you know. Like the, the recording the started, great worm and, you know, after the soul several, several lines, I don't recall the exact darkness. number, but the, we had already recorded many in-game lines. The power it's of like the somehow the like, she, like she clicked and, and she realized Arrogance something and she said, okay, okay, I think I got it, I think I got world. this character now. Mm -hmm. So please, could Protect. we start back Protect. again from the beginning? And I was like, whoa, <laughs> extremely amazing. Yeah. I mean, you don't see that every day. That's like, wow, really? And, and she was like so dedicated, so, you know, into the thing. Like she wanted to nail that character. Yes, actually. She wanted to make it, you know, like. As you can see in the video, I, um, she did like most of the voice lines at first. I mean, uh, she nailed it and yeah. it was great. I think, uh, yeah, you guys. But that's just a little her. anecdote that I wanted to explain. Yep. But yeah, you you want to know about gameplay, right? Yeah, sure. Well, everybody uh, wants to know about gameplay. You sure? Maybe they don't want to you know. know. Are you sure? Maybe if, if they don't want to know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we can Please, guys, here. you can talk in the chat and let us know. We can cut here and well, bye. <laughs> now nah, let's. We are too evil. Why are we like that? Come on, let's let's say something about her. So. Yeah, Soma, you know, as we already said, it's a new Umbra Wardog character for the game. And I don't know, the, the, the words that I usually use to describe her, it's something like, somewhat like a, like a, a greedy support character. Oh, wow. Like a greedy support. It's kind of like a, a bit of a weird thing, but, mm -hmm. you know, it mainly works like this, you know, yeah. what's her ability? It's mainly to canalize, you know, it, uh, uh, some other people's pain yeah. into her own body. So, how does this work? You know, the thing is that, actually, let me, please, uh, before getting into details about the current state of the gameplay, yeah. we iterated so much, we made so many changes, you know, mm -hmm. And the thing is that uh, right now we are like giving the final touches to the thing. Yeah. So what I'm about to explain, it, even though it may change, it's not supposed to change drastically. So, well, now let me, sorry for the disclaimer, but I felt the need to 
to uh, clarify. But yeah, it's mainly, you know, like you're playing and you know, it's an amber war dog, you're always refilling life. Uh, you're always, uh, you know, with the Aleph meter at maximum so everyone can see you. So you, and you're an agile kind of character. Yeah. And how your ability works is that, you know, at any time and within a really uh, uh, long range of action, you can, uh, you know, like activate uh, like a pain shield mm -hmm. to one of your allies. Oh, wow. So, and how does it work? Let's say, Karen, you are my ally here. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you well have, we have to discuss that. We are not enemies, though. Right? <laughs> so, if, if, you, if you're not killing each other, then I, I guess we, we should be, we must be allies there. So, okay. yeah, let's say Karen here which is my test subject for the day, she's my ally. <laughs> and we are playing Space Lords, you know, and I'm Soma, even though I really don't look like her, but just... It's okay. Just picture <laughs> Stephanie's face in the mind. Okay. <laughs> no, no, please don't. So, the thing is, so I, I can use my ability, my canonized ability, in order to spell to summon uh, a red bone shield into you. Okay. A, even from a long distance, because you know I'm a war dog, so I'm like constantly moving and making yeah. all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. So then, when you have your shield on, mm -hmm. you know that shield has uh, some, uh, you know, like uh, endurance, some, some, uh, some uh, given amount of uh, health points, so to say. Okay. So yeah. from that moment until your your shield vanishes because of uh, enemy fire, yeah. you can, you don't receive any kind of pain. You know. Oh, wow. It's damage, you know, but you know, it's actually pain because I'm Soma. Mm -hmm. But what happens to me while you, your shield is receiving all the damage? Well, what happens then is that I have like a, like a pain meter, you know, like, yes. a, like mm -hmm. a bar of a pain bar, yeah. because mm -hmm. I'm canalizing all your pain. Mm -hmm. And you know, my bar of pain keeps, you know, as you keep receiving damage, it keeps going up. Yes. And actually, I couldn't just. I, I would be able not just to help you, but to help many of other allies. I can, I can, you know, like pop up different, different. But shows. they have to be close to you. No, not really. I mean, right now, at, the, at you know, as as for today, mm -hmm. I can summon shields. I think it's up to thirty-five meters of distance. But cool. that doesn't mean you have to stay close to me or, or the other way around. I don't have to go babysitting you because I'm a greedy support <laughs> <Hey>. member. <laughs> so the thing is you can go anywhere. Once you have your shield, yes. you know, as long as you don't take enough damage, the shield is there for you. So I can have like three allies. Let's say that there are like three Karens here with me, <laughs> three allies, and they all have their shields. So they keep getting pain, getting pain. What happens if my pain bar goes to 100%, mm -hmm. then I screwed up. So I die because yeah. I endured so much of your pain. I just die like that, no matter what. You guys what have I was to doing. be careful. Yeah, that's the thing. You have to play with some sort of timing. But that's cool. You have to be thinking about the consequences and all. So. That's the thing. It's like a risk reward system. So what can I do? I can, you know, like at any moment, I can just press the button and then just release. You know, make all those shields disappear all at once. Wow before you know like my pain meter goes up to max and I, and I just die because of that and what's the cool thing why why am I greedy because mainly so far I basically help you and some other allies mm -hmm. I want to be greedy that's the thing now with my pain bar you know that I try to maximize its value now I have like a buff for my weapons mm -hmm. so I'm dealing more damage now that I have been you know like like uh, like uh, switching on and off different shields and being careful about how am I doing. Mm. So that's the cool thing about Som. It's a really dynamic character. It's not your typical support. Like I have to stay you know, near you. I have to be careful. I am fragile. It's a different kind. Yes. It's a greedy one. It's a world of one. Mm -hmm. So it's a different kind of story. So that's basically how how it works. In, you know in general terms yes. and I guess we could speak about weapons but I'm not really yeah. sure what is people more interested in oh well you guys so. have the chat actually if uh, if you're okay with that I can read some of your comments since I'm seeing you are asking a lot about the special ability and how the shield of the shields work so yeah you think yeah you let's try that? to answer some amazing so let's see i can pop different shields yes uh, we have 
set up? Yeah. I think right now it may be up like to three or four, but please don't uh, believe me on the details here, mm -hmm. you know, because we're still tweaking that. Yeah. Mm. She'll be interested in car emissions. Yeah, for sure. Uh, sh so she can die. She can die while shielding others or oh, allies. Yeah, she can die while he's healing other. Oh, it, it's shielding. Ah, shielding. shielding. Yeah, not healing. Shielding. Yeah, that's that's actually like the main drawback that you have for mm. your ability. I'm shielding Karen here, and we are. I can. It's like you know because I'm a water king, we can speed away, and there's like no maximum distance. I can kind of forget about it, so I have to be really careful. That's part of the whole risk reward system that we have going on for Soma's ability. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can totally die. Actually it's like a it's like a different kind of a death but I won't go into details about it. I, okay. It's better if you see it for yourself. It's so Benji kind of Walla, cool. hi! Uh, we know you from Discord. Hey Benji, uh, how are you? Man? How are you, Benji? Uh, he's asking, uh, meaning um, if the damage received is 1-1, one, one, meaning if you block 50 damage, you take 50 damage? Yeah, it's like that. But there are some, you know, there's like some uh, little details that, I mean, that's totally true. If 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 I just act summon like a red worm shield on, on Karen's body, yeah. yeah, if she takes 10 of damage, mm -hmm. that's what the shield of blocks. You know, it's like the shield is taking all the damage and I am absorbing the pain from the distance. But there are like some um, uh, specifics on that, some uh, little exceptions here and there. Like for instance, uh, if Karen commits suicide uh, falling from, from a cliff, mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect you to do that because I know you're a really great player. Oh, wow. but thank you. <laughs> she's my ally, guys. So <laughs> I, I, I have to treat you right. <laughs> so if you were to do such a, a nonsense thing, you know, and just fall from a cliff, then it's not like I die because of it, you know. It's like it's mainly like uh, damage done from bullets mm -hmm. and I and there's like a different kind of rule for melee but I'm not really sure we are totally settled on that okay like how which amount of uh, of uh, damage I can analyze of pain I can analyze yes. through a melee hit please guys have in mind this is a work in progress so sure. uh, when she gets released uh, maybe some things change but yeah those are mostly uh, her abilities. So Hernan, um, they are asking how do you reduce your pain bar? How do I reduce my pain bar? Uh -huh. Yeah, ah, sorry, maybe I missed some details ah, with the explanation. Yeah, the thing is that I explained with a lot of detail how I increase my pain bar, but how do I reduce it? That's the thing. Since my pain bar is giving me a buff in my weapons damage. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. the way that I lower it down is actually de dealing damage with that weapon. Mm -hmm. So if you want to lower it down uh, and, and you want to, of course, take advantage of that bonus of the damage, yeah. basically you have to, you know, uh, deal damage. That's yes. the thing. And and yeah, that's and that's and that's true as as for today. That's true for all her. Weapons, even though I must tell you, they are they are like extremely different among them. They are mm. kind of uh, weird. I don't know, not not weird. Like every, I mean, it's just different. Just like in many other space laws, right? It's different kind of philosophies, but so that the, overlying uh, rule. So this, this one is the basic one. This one that we are seeing in this screenshot. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the basic one. Mm -hmm. uh, please don't ask me the official name because I totally no, forgot. No. <laughs> <laughs> because I know the the inner development name, but I totally forgot about the official name. But yeah, that's basically this is a really interesting weapon because it's a really what I really like about it. It's like really accessible, really easy mm -hmm. to get in, mm -hmm. but there's some level of subtlety on how it works mm -hmm. you know the way that it works the different projectiles there's some you know uh, parabolic uh, movement involved but also they the projectiles behave differently uh, depending on whether they hit on someone's body or they hit on the uh, on the map or on the ground yeah. you know it's not the same effect so it's 
sometimes you can use it in a more strategic way. Okay. But the initial uh, uh, use of it, it's extremely straightforward. Extremely, it's like a, like a short and middle range is really useful mm -hmm. for those. For those in the long range, it's it, it, it spreads way too much. But it's, yeah, it's but since you are awarded, that's what what's all about. Just you know, have to get a bit closer to your foes. Yeah. You're not a foe. Let me clarify that. <laughs> this is an ally. Those are the foes. <laughs> so um, let's continue with the comments. Um, Life Twenty One Dima. Oh, I know, Mati. How are you? Um, um, he or she? Uh, sorry, uh, is asking if she's going to come out with a skin, not in the release, but after. Uh, yeah, there are skins for her. So yeah, we will announce um, when. It's the time. Yeah, when it's the right time. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sergey Kosinski, hi. Um, hey, Sergey. He's asking, can she shield? Oh, elites. El el elites? As Antak? Yeah, I see. <laughs> Sorry I for see. my Spanish because sometimes I yes, <laughs> pronounce things in Spanish. So, yeah. It's totally fine. You're my ally. You're the, <laughs> you're the ally. Yeah, you're but ally they, too, they so. must be like, what the hell? <laughs> no, come on. So, that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I, I totally forgot about the antagonist dimension side of things, mm -hmm. but it's uh, actually really interesting. As for today, I'm always, you know, using this disclaimer. <laughs> yes, you can shield grunts, you can shield elites, you know, like sniper elites, officer elites, uh, assault elites, and you know, even more than that. Actually, we are currently. Uh, it's not 100% decided yet, mm -hmm. but you are able, we are kind of experimenting with the uh, idea of being able to shield some other kind of weirder kind of allies, you know, yeah. like we made some, uh, some tests like shielding, you know, like final bosses or beholders and this kind of uh, more unusual kind of enemies, mm -hmm. uh, allies, sorry, because we are now on the antagonist side of things, so they are allies. So we are experimenting with that, but I'm not 100% sure whether it would be that way. Mm -hmm. Grants are, um, and, or annulates though, they are totally in. Cool. Okay, so uh, M. Bellint, uh, it's asking, uh, are they shielded? Once melee, melee, melee resistant. Oh no, no, no! Truth is, uh, shields, uh, red one shields. They don't grant any resistance uh, against melee. Like they, I'm, I'm, I'm not one hundred percent sure. It's okay. Sure. It's. Uh, I think they deal damage, but it's not like you don't take the punch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you totally take the punch. <laughs> so yeah. So. You guys are asking a lot. I'm trying to read all your comments. Yeah, just read them slowly though. It's so many people. Yes, I had to. Oh well, Twitch um, allows you to pot, uh, post the, the Twitch now, the, the chat. So it's great because I can read all the comments, but they are a lot. So. But, but it would get worse though, because if you post it, <laughs> it would get real worse. Huh? Uh, oh, the Tune, thank you very much for following us. Sure. Uh, she sounds old. Uh, 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 let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of people following us. That's amazing, guys. We love you. It's this is. Thank I can't you so believe much, it. guys. Uh, how so much? Oh, will she have any special abilities incorporating the great red worm? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we get to see Hackney Way uh, asking yeah. is asking uh, do we get to see Beb or just uh, via her tattoo? Yeah, the thing we didn't go into detail with her tattoo, but the thing is that her uh, you know back tattoo that you saw in some of the screenshots mm -hmm. is uh, actually is more like a mystical kind of tattoo that. It's mostly representing whether Feb is inside her at the moment, like not inside her, but nurturing her with pain at the moment or not. So the thing with Feb, the Great Red Worm, and as you will see in the universe entries of Osoma, is that it's not like 
scientifically, you know, proven that it exists. You know, it's like for some weird reason, it seems like only the algae are sensitive to that kind of uh, presence, you know, only through the sands of Mars. So there's like the tattoo serves as some kind of a, a representation of that, but it's there's not like a single you know, factual evidence that it actually exists. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the whole tattoo keeps changing as you use the power. It mainly depends on which one of the uh, phases are you right now. Mm -hmm. Either absorbing uh, the pain or dealing the pain you absorb to other foes, so yeah. Okay, oh, he says okay, hi. Hey, He's hi. asking of who you consider Soma to be a difficult character to use? A difficult character to use, yeah. As, uh, yeah. From what I've played so far, you know, I think, maybe I played too much, I don't know, but I think it sounds way more complicated than it actually plays. The thing with Soma is that you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Of course it's not, it's way uh, more complicated than, or, or less accessible than hands or, or are really this really straightforward kind of characters because mm -hmm. if you don't endure pain the right way you can die from it yeah, so, yeah. but the thing is that everything is like really simple it's not like uh, the way the power the, the way you keep handling the whole shield situation is more about not losing focus yes so it's more about keeping a you know like a really <coughs> cold state of mind what I can tell you though is that some of her weapons really, not the not the, start, uh, the starting weapon, you know, but some of the weapons that you can unlock for her are really pushing complexity <laughs> to a whole new level. Yeah. You know, one of the weapons kind of behaves even remotely like like Kuzman's special ability to some degree, mm -hmm. and the other uh, another weapon that that we are developing, it's like. There's like a whole new level of complexity Actually, because it, it has like different modes of shooting, so yes. it gets harder. Adi, Adi uh, two five three was asking. Hey Adi. Hi Adi. Um, if all the war dogs uh, have zero long range, does Soma have any mid to long range weapons? So you said before the the basic one is. More like a Shoot mid -range, middle though. Yeah. Middle is great for middle though, yeah. So there are different kind of uh, weapons from sure to oh, I know it's yeah. it's early to speak about that but No but maybe I won't go into details because I don't wanna spoil all the surprises but <laughs> You know, there's this weapon that I spoke yes. you about that kinda reminds me of Kuzman's special ability to some degree. And that with with that weapon you can deal damage to people who is extremely far away and you don't even need to look at them, you know what I mean? Wow. So it's like a different uh, line of thought, you know, when you play yeah. with this sort of weapons, it's like you're not even thinking in range, mm -hmm. you're thinking like in a in a special kind of way, you know, yeah. like, uh, like in, you know, dealing like uh, uh, damage areas here and there, so it's, it's less about shooting and more about managing like damage areas, it's kind of like a weird, but a new, brand new space loads experience, you know. Mm -hmm. The way that you play uh, your, your most beloved spa space loads missions really changes with, with this, just with that weapon. And each one of the weapons, it's a completely different story, so yeah. So this question is similar to the one Hitsasuke uh, did before, but it's cool. Moonfixer says, uh, any character hey. synergies or counters in, mid in mind for Soma? Yeah. Well, maybe th this is a top one, but it's cool. <laughs> maybe it's soon, but yeah. yeah. You can be ready when she gets released. That's the good thing about it. Yeah, like synergies, but, but what, what, what the question was like, counters? synergies among, among yeah. characters, synergies right? Synergies or counters, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's suffering right now. So. Ah, that's a really <laughs> complicated behave. question. No, but it's a really good question, though, but a really complicated one. They are acting like Uras right now. <laughs> the, no, they no. are. These are allies here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, allies. guys, of course. You are. Well, <laughs> they are our allies, of course. So, yeah, yeah, there are. 
you know, actually, just because of, you know, when you're playing as an antagonist, just because of the whole special ability thing, mm -hmm. and, and you can, the way you can behave, it's really different, and will not similar to Yune, you know, it's a different kind of story, even though it may sound similar because I'm like buffing allies, it's a really different kind of story. And when it comes to Raiders, you know, yes, it's totally crazy what you can do there because you can, you know, it's like you can, uh, you know, like to some degree, uh, like help some other characters, maybe like low health characters, like the uh, locals faction, maybe some herald there, you can totally buff him and not, you don't have to babysit him though, you don't have to be careful and and to stay close to him because he's a sniper and you know how Herod plays for instance. Actually, he just keeps Azazel up. is uh, replying to yeah. Moonfixer and says if her shield is similar to Lycus then Ginevra can be a possible counter. Yeah, the, it's it's really not like Lycus in the sense that Lycus is all about, you know, angle and direction and some of yeah. the sometimes Lycus it's about running to, into one direction but using the uh, the shield maybe to uh, reflect damage on the other direction, or maybe to get closer to melee. Mm -hmm. And you know, you gotta take into account that uh, Soma is all about putting shields into other people. But yeah, the thing is that you can totally support like a, like a local character faction. And since you don't need to be closer, you just need to, you know, to some degree be careful about the state of the shield because shields uh, show like how, mu how much life do they have left to some degree, you know, because they keep changing colors and also you can you can also see if the shield gets broken, you can see it on your on your special ability hub too. So you could you could be like playing like a really kind of a, a support for aliens and you know that would be totally viable in many missions and that would that gives like a new dimension in the kind of uh, uh, stuff that you can pull off just among two characters of the team, you know, just between those two. A lot of uh, cool things can happen just by using the ability like that. Cool. So, uh, Mr. Potato, I love uh, the hey, nickname. Mr. Potato, huh? Hey! Uh, wait, if you can make multiple shields, is there a way to turn off all the shields or do you have to turn them off one at a time? It's a really good question. Yes. And it's really really simple the way that you use the ability you just with a single push of a button you just you know switch all shields off and the thing is that uh, it's mainly it's made that way mainly because you know if the, if you uh, endure so much pain you end up dying mm -hmm. so it's not like I can totally choose like on who am I switching on the shields mm -hmm. but when it comes to the switching off it's just all at once. It's not like I don't have to look back at you because maybe you're Herrick and you're stuck up there sniping mm -hmm. people. No, I don't have to, you know, point to him and just, you know, like switch, uh, switch the shield off. No, it's not like that. It's just I'm not even looking at you. I'm greedy, remember? Mm -hmm. So I'm just taking care of. Okay, now all the shields off because I'm in trouble, and you know I'll I'll stop being greedy afterwards. So it's more like that. Really dynamic. She's yes. a number of Wardog after all, so Amazing. that's why. Did we talk about the uh, how long her shield uh, lasts? Ah, her shield, yeah. A school, school Calypso, thank you for the question. Yeah, thank you for the question, really good question too. Yes. So, it's not like a time shield, it's all about damage received. Mm -hmm. So, if you are, you know, like summoning a shield for someone who takes a lot of damage yeah. the shield will break uh, kind of fast you know and if you're just supporting a guy that's really careful the shield will, will the, sh the, the uh, shield will last longer that's how it works you know it's just like damage taken okay uh, by her description she, she sounds like a sort of paladin a sort of tank that is also magical I think it's she's difficult to fit into a single um, yeah, that's the thing. Yes. It's really difficult because it can even get a bit like crowd control at some point. Huh? Yes. Because of the weird weapons that she has, but yeah, she's more like a I don't know, I like to call her greedy support, but I know it, 
I just made that up. I know <laughs> no other game uses like a greedy support kind of character. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's I guess it's really hard to define. Honestly, guys, here in Mercury's team at the design department, instead of we putting labels or names into this sort of things, we rather uh, we rather want to wait for your playing, you know, for when uh, until it gets released, and we. We will be uh, watching how is it that you call this sort of things, you know? Yes. Because sometimes it's easier just to let you guys play and say, oh, okay, that guy nailed it. She's a blah blah blah, you know. But yeah, that's why I'm calling greedy support. It's just like a really high level, you know, kind of description. Mm, cool. So, hey, sadistic kitten. Um, <laughs> sadistic kitten. Yes. Uh, she she has uh, collaborated with, with us before and. Uh, so she's asking, do any of her abilities include the use of her spellbook? The use of, I mean, not like physically, yes. but the thing is that uh, the ability to kind of like Spain and you will get yeah. to know about it on the uh, on the universe enters and such is all about her beliefs. You mm. know, as I told you before, there's no actual proof that that exists. So it's mainly about having faith that that will happen. So the book is a crucial piece, uh, a crucial thing for her to believe and, and you know and to help her regain faith whenever she loses it because she. I'm sorry, I won't spoil it, but you know, just read the universe section. But she she sometimes has her own doubts about it. But it's not like she will open the book and start reading, you know, while while putting shields on people. You know how war dogs are, though. It's way more fast paced. Yes. So, uh, Natixta, um, ask, hey, Natixta. Hey, uh, if Soma can shield miners or. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow! Can that you, would be so scary! Can you imagine that thing? Like with... <laughs> yeah, imagine it. I'm not sleeping tonight because of you. <laughs> Wow, miners! They are thugged. Imagine oh, them with... Really <laughs> tough. with Poor Cotet, by the way. <laughs> he gets really freaked out. Like, miners, guys, miners are coming up. Just <laughs> imagine how it will be. Like, oh my god, that would be so bad. But maybe we, maybe we should do that. But no, as I told you before, it's still not like written in stone. Like, we, we're still not sure to how degree, you know, to how many people uh, can you activate shields at once and to which enemies but I'm quite sure miners were never supposed to have a like a like a pain uh, reflecting shield because of the um, you know uh, you know it's all about uh, finding the right mechanics so that the that playable dynamics that arise are, are fun to play and I think we quickly realized miners were not uh, that fun to kill when their uh, life is really boosted up. Mm -hmm. But that said, uh, it's not still 100% sure. But I'm I'm quite positive. My, we, we you don't have to get scared about you know like so much shielded mar uh, uh, miners. I'm pretty sure miners <laughs> won't get a shield. Oh, I'm still shaky. <laughs> no miners with shields that would be terrible. Ah, oh, before we continue, Abo Polo, hi, he's telling us uh, we never say hi to him, so that's oh, not sorry. true. Hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> so, well, this is uh, a long one. Okay. Uh, get ready. Um, the way Soma is being described, um, the way damage, damage is dealt in higher MMR levels, it's easy to get yourself killed. Is there any damage mitigation in high MM MMR ranges specifically? To compensate this. Well, the thing, the thing with uh, uh, there's there's the same question. Oh, that's another one. Okay, so this one, yeah. Yeah, the thing with uh, the damage that you can absorb. I, I, I'm trying to understand why is this question asked. So, it's not like you, if you're playing a soma, mm -hmm. it's not like you will will get killed easier because enemies deal more damage it's mm -hmm. not necessarily like that because the thing about shields is that, that they have kind of like a low life level yeah. you know i say low because i mean what is low you know, mm, it, yes, depends, it depends it depends yeah. on 
but it's uh, in some of the tests that we are doing, the shield is like uh, I don't know, like 60 points of life or so. Don't take my word on that. So the thing is that the part of the of the of the interesting interesting thing about shields not having a lot of life is that it's really not uh, too fun to get killed because you assign a single shield and you just forgot about it. Uh, you know, and someone gets killed and then you get killed too. It's like a, it's more like managing uh, several at the same time. It's yep. more like that. So the amount of pain that you endure uh, because of someone's uh, shield uh, being taken down, it's usually it doesn't take your bar from zero to to one hundred. You know, mm -hmm. it's a different kind of. Uh, it's a, it's a lower amount. Mm -hmm. Uh, wow, guys, you're asking a lot. Wow. Yes. Let's save some surprise, though. Yeah. You guys want to know everything. Wow, well, you guys are a lot. No we are so happy. <laughs> yeah. Like, for real. We really are. Yes, this is insane. Um, they are talking about uh, World yeah. of Faction, and, well, sh they are saying also she's a masochist. <laughs> she's a masochist. That's a <laughs> no. That's a, that's a good question too. Because if, he, if I if I if I'm explaining her story like that, like oh she takes some other people pay, pain, it yeah, sounds like oh she's it's more like a sacrifice. Yeah, she's the thing is that she is not taking pleasure into it, and that's, that's and that's a really important matter for the Algia. Like in different uh, military conflicts that took place in Mars. They didn't even take sides, you know. They are not military, they are not conquering places, you know what I mean? And they are definitely knowing, not enjoying that. They are like martyrs. They are just sacrificing their, themselves from people, uh, for people who is in pain, either because of wars or illness or whatever. So they are more like a, like a good-willed, uh, order of witches, you know, and the thing about, and then one would think, maybe you guys are think, oh, if they endure pain, that's not a great life, and that's the tragic thing about the Algia creed is that they have been being reduced, you know, uh, like time over time, there are less Algia going around in yeah. Mars, so it's like little by little they have. <laughs> Being becoming kind of like a myth, mainly because of that, mainly because of their will to sacrifice themselves, you know, absorbing other people, people's pain. That's what. That's why they are less and less of them every day. So it's not like a crazy like us kind of thing. Like oh, I'm enduring yeah. pain. I really like getting hit because I'm, you know, nuts or something. It's really not like that. Mm -hmm. And you will totally see guys see these guys when you read the universe section and see the way the lines are delivered she's you know soma is really not uh, enjoying taking other people's pain but that's what her beliefs uh, that's how her beliefs guide her she's an alcia so she is totally supposed to take people's pain that's one of the reason that's pretty much how marmalade it to some degree takes advantage of her because of those really pure beliefs, you know. Yeah. So, a uh, question, if you headshot someone, oh my, these are so well specific, for yeah. a 500 damage but they have the shield on, will someone die instead? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. But let me think, <laughs> let me think carefully about it, no. If you shoot someone, if you headshot someone, the shield will be taken down. You will get the amount of pain that, you know, the thing is that the shield maybe wasn't at full health uh, either. But if it was, it, you would just take the full mm. amount of health of the shield. If the shield was just like 10 points, uh, 10 health points away from getting, uh, you know, uh, killed, no, no, you don't kill the shield, I'd break, broken, I guess, uh, if it was just like a few health points away from getting broken, then you just get this amount, this little amount of pain. What I'm, what, the, another good question would be, and what happens to the guy who received the headshot, because that was like a 500 uh, damage for that, 
and as for today and this could really change so really don't take my word on that but as for today I uh, the headshot doesn't kill the guy that was wearing the, the, the shield it's like the um, the damage is forgiven but this could totally change guys because we are really play testing this really hard you know lately so we could change it uh, at any moment okay so uh Quan Ri Quan Rian. Hi. Hey, <laughs> How, Quan are Rian. How are you? How are you? he um he's asking is disab disabling shields instant or will it have a time to disable like removing Aneska's mech where she stands there and is vulnerable oh. or like Snyder's where it's instant? That's a really good question because he you plays a lot, he's like a veteran. So. Oh I totally believe that yes. because that's a really veteran kind of question because the little timings here and there in the activation or the activation of the abilities, you know, it really makes a difference yeah. on in which kind of situation can I really use that and, and, on, and also which kind of situation it really it's not useful at all. And as for now, that's, you know, another thing that may change better, but as for now, we're pretty sure it's really fast. I'm not saying like, like, time is zero but it's really fast and one thing for sure you can disable the shields while you are performing other actions it's not like you know like an Esca like when you have to uh, or maybe it's more similar to the um, Snyder thing mm -hmm. you know you're just moving around you are a high mobility kind of character and you're just like activating shields and deactivating all the shields all at once just as you flow through the map it's not like, oh, I have to take cover and be really careful because now I'm, you know, like putting a shield on you and then two seconds after that, oh, let's search for cover because I really need to switch all the shields off. It's really not like that. It's really way more fast. Cool. Um, so, cards. They are asking about cards. cards. Um, oh. Adi, for okay. example, says, uh, so what kind of cards would Soma typically have? I'm guessing weapon damage, buff, buff? Or increase pain three souls hold. Wow, there's one big issue with cars that I I really don't remember <laughs> how they work, and I'm I really don't. I mean, I, they the the I really don't. I mean, I I think I I know some stuff. I, I know some stuff. Don't worry, guys. But I'm really remember, worried about so saying <laughs> something really wrong on this because they told me really cool stuff, but. It's like, oh, I'm really not uh, in that side of development, you the know what I mean? The special work here is weak, <laughs> work in progress. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So I really, it would be really cool to give you, to give you some details on a few of them, but I'm so afraid I may screw up by saying something that it's not true, you know what I mean? So I, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I don't, maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, no, I, I'm not. I won't dare to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just in case I get it it's wrong. Okay. Sorry, guys. Mm. So, uh, Bupulop uh, is asking, what if you, uh, what is your your favorite thing about Soma? My favorite thing about Soma? Yes. Well, let's first start with your favorite thing, though, because you really like witches. Witchcraft. I want to know. Course. No, I love her aesthetic. She's uh, she's so cool, but I love. Um, Actually, the, all the, the the form you have to put into the character to to understand how she how she, you have to play with her. So I think it's going to be complex, but I like it. And yes, I love she's kind of different from the mm. other characters. She's like this um, mix of uh, different types of, of class. Uh, so I think. Yeah, witchcraft, yeah. magic, everything uh, around, it's, it's cool for me. You're totally sold when it comes to witches. Yes, yeah. sure. Yeah, the, I really, what I really like about Soma, besides her design being extremely cool, yeah. with all the different, you know, like, stuff she's carrying around because of her faith, I really like the way she isn't, doesn't, she's not military at all, doesn't look military, it's a different kind of thing, and what I really like about her being 
some sort of a wheat. It's, it's so different from uni too because I, I'm really mm. in love with uni. I must say, I the really like uni. Weaver. But it's a different kind of story, yes. you know. And and what I really like about her actually is her being so pure mm. and so innocent, even to some degree, that no other space lord in the game uh, has never, you know, uh, been. You know, it's a, it's more like a naive, but not like a crazy naive. She's like a really well taught girl, but you know, extremely young and still not, uh, you know, like super mature. So it's like she had to learn, you know, during her uh, her uh, expedition to the broken planet. And things are rough in the broken planet. Do you guys already know that? So I really like this contrast because. You know, some of the characters are like either extremely quirky or deranged or comical or really badass and, and, and you know, and killer and, and, and you know, this kind of a balasserie and she's totally different from me. Yes. But I really like her style though. Wow, the, the whole the book thing, the, uh, the magician stuff, I really like. It really sets my imagination, you know. Yes. Like, imagining what is it that she could do, which kind of spells, you know, like what is it that she studies, you know, at night when she's alone? <laughs> I'm really like... She reads her book like, oh my, yeah, so like this spell, this runes, you're yeah. amazing. <laughs> uh, yes, Feb is the best god ever. Feb is ever. the best. She has like Feb fan arts. <laughs> like, I'm in love with you, giant red worm. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of fan arts of Feb uh, from now on, you know, we can put... Um, we have like a huge one here. Our beautiful wall of art, yes. Amazing. So, um, Arnaud, Mr. Yeah. Potato is asking, can you shield other abilities like Mika's decoy or Aneska's make? Wow, that's a really yeah. good question. For Mika's decoy, as for today, no, you can't. Mm -hmm. You, you just can. Because like Mika's decoy, to some degree, it's not really there. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not, not like a physical thing. Yes. Uh, but. Even like a Snyder's drone, mm -hmm. you know, as for the moment you are not able to shield that because it's not like a, the, uh, like a character. I don't know, it's a really it's complex an entity, rule, it's like, but yeah. the Aneska's mech, that could be an option. But as I said before, I'm not so sure on the Aneska mech thing. I'm not sure we've tried that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and I'm not sure whether it will be like that. But when it comes to me, as Koi, that's one hundred percent no. Mika's decoy, Schneider's drone. They are not supposed to be shielded like that. Okay. So also, imagine what would happen. Like Mika's decoy, it get really confusing. Like yeah. you shield the decoy, but then Mika, Mika goes back. Yes. So the decoy is like with the shield on the yeah, other side. Yeah, but she has the barrier ah. also. So yeah, it can be crazy. So yeah, it would be maybe a bit too complex. Yeah. Uh, so computer fun. Uh, he's asking, what is the max amount of damage the uh, the absorb can take. I, I guess it's the, the shield or the uh, the pain she can absorb. The maximum damage that she can absorb, you know, the if you want the exact amount, right at the moment this could also change. It's yeah. around not just because of the action of one shield, but if you if you really take it to the extreme before dying, I think you can endure maybe like. 240 health points, something like that. Mm, but this could totally change. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that was just the question. Or was it? No, it's it's that's the question. But ah, I, just the uh, yeah. just the amount. Yeah, that's pretty magic. But you know, we are still tweaking like numbers up and down. So don't take my word exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, it may change in the future. So yeah, Provolon Ranger. This is more uh, related to the stream. Uh, so, can you give us an estimated uh, time frame for when we'll see gameplay? Well, um, no, <laughs> <laughs> but soon, like, uh, I don't know, um, we are mm, doing like the, the last details mm. and so, so we hope to, maybe we show the first gameplay here, maybe we decide to do it on our social media, but uh, yeah, we think this is a cool channel to do that since uh, you guys are so mm, devoted and so um, so great 
with us. So yeah, I think it's a good way to you know to encourage people to sure. to chat with us and to ask questions and. It will be sooner than later, but we still cannot give uh, an example. Sooner, so. no, no, sooner, no. sooner. <laughs> wow, that was really bad. I know. It's a really bad joke. You are the guy with the bad jokes. There's so many people. You are not me. And really bad jokes <laughs> going on. So. <laughs> Oh my, okay, let's see, oh my god, so many things. We probably uh, got soon since, uh, wow, well, we have been streaming a lot, like one like hour? for an hour or so now. That's amazing. So yeah, we're going to read a few more questions and yeah. then uh, we'll say goodbye, but no, don't worry, we'll be back. Uh, we hope soon to speak about more, more and more things. So, uh, let's see. Oh, wow, guys, like uh, I have paused the, the chat like a while ago and I'm seeing the, the chat like posted and then here is the, the actual chat. So oh, I'm, this is the actual I'm <laughs> She's going really crazy, guys. I'm sorry. Actually, the masochist. It's me. You know? <laughs> She's the masochist, not yes, so much. Yes, I love. For sure. I love <laughs> receiving pain, absorbing pain. <laughs> So you can read one if you want. Yeah, also. I'm trying to read here. Yeah, yeah. I think Benji Walla is, is like asking, does she take damage herself, or does it go to a pain god? I mean, I'm not really oh. sure like in which context you're asking it, but if I'm someone I get shot, it's me who is taking the damage directly. But if my ally here gets shot when she's shielded, then it goes to the pain god. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actually, yeah. someone uh, told something about giving you an ice cream, so I'm, I'm like, an ice cream what they know? Uh, what? Really? But for her? But me? does it come from her? No. Oh, but no, I, to you. After me, but I really, I <laughs> no. really like chocolate, by the way. <laughs> I really like ice creams, but no, no, like strawberry, no, 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 no cookies, no, no. Chocolate is the, it's chocolate the one for me. Chocolate is amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I will, I mean, if they mm, they make yeah. a character about me, uh, the special baby probably will be eating chocolate because really? I love it. Yeah. That's we are the, That's why we are allies. So what will we both eat chocolate? What will it be your special ability? If, if I was a space lord? Yeah. I don't know. That, that's a really good question. Why why I never thought about it? <laughs> Maybe I don't know, like taking a really long siesta or something like that. Oh wow! <laughs> Spanish siesta. I don't like a Spanish siesta. Yes. That would be great. <laughs> you refill and you you know you are like new a new person. Yeah, it's taking a nap basically. It's a weird. I have to say I was so nervous at the beginning, but right now I'm like, yeah, this is cool. Oh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Cool. You guys are so so close and i don't know it's it's great i feel very comfortable <laughs> okay i'm trying to read a question but oh, it's really fast. fast it's really fast <laughs> yeah, what's a, oh oh what's her so. execution animation uh, jeeper creeper is asking what's her oh oh oh, oh. Maybe you guys want to see it yeah you guys want to see the it. gameplay because it's so amazing i know this is this is this is bad for you. <laughs> you guys, are, I love it. No, you you will really like it. The uh, the finishing animations for her are really different from what you guys have seen before. She's not a brawler, you know. As I told you, she's more of mm -hmm. a witch. So it's like she beats people up, kind of with some sort of elegance. What we'd say, you know. You've seen those, right? Yes. The, the thing she does, yeah. wow. That's it's amazing. That's really cool. But I really don't want to spoil the whole concept, yeah. right? Should I say no, maybe not? You don't want to be to in front of her if you are not uh, his or her ally. Oh, but, but it's really cool to get killed by her. Yes. Yeah, that's my excuse. When I get killed by someone, <laughs> that's my excuse. It's so cool to see the finisher move. That's, <laughs> that's what I tell people. <laughs> Deeper Creeper is also asking, will yeah. Soma get crash or by Aneska just like hive the <laughs> like uh, if, if she's going to fall in love with Soma? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know the crash factor of Soma. Well, Soma fall in, okay. falls in, falling in love with Aneska, sorry. Oh yes. wow, that's Reverse. a really deep kind of question. But <laughs> 
I must, I'm not really sure actually on the, on how the algae are into having like a, you know, like romantic relationships because they are really strict when it comes to their way of life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's not like, I don't like, not a character like Mika or, you know, like a, a Hive or Aneska, they are more uh, like human, I guess. But uh, she's way more into uh, her beliefs, and so so I, I I'm not I don't think we'll be seeing an Aneska romance, you know, like a Soma Aneska romance anytime soon. Sorry. So um, you never know, though. But. Yeah. Last questions. Um, okay. For example, flash slash, a super important question. Yeah. Will streams became a regular thing? Yes. Uh, we want to do more streams and the idea is to speak about different uh, different things and different departments for example concept or 3D design so you guys can discover more about the game so yeah that's the idea and also to announce things uh, before they get released on our social media channels and yeah I think uh, we think this is like yeah great because we get up to you so yeah that's the idea <laughs> basically so oh, i think we yeah mary oh mary as well sir jay kuczynski he wants to marry you to marry no no you don't you really don't want that <laughs> think it twice <laughs> so think guys twice, yeah. uh, we think uh we are going to close here uh, we are so happy um, with you, we are uh, very excited about this new era, this new, um, this new way to communicate with you and you know, <laughs> we are loving our new set as well and we would like to see you in the future so please uh, follow us, subscribe, um, yeah I'm looking like a YouTuber now, uh, but yeah, uh, we we want to 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 keep doing this. Sure, it was a pleasure. By the way, yes. thank you for having me here. Yeah, thank you. And thank you everyone for stepping by in our first live stream ever. We hope we'll get to do it even better than today. Yes. On a day by day, but maybe I don't know. But anyways, I I, I was yeah, I'm really glad I could get to talk to you. Yeah. As a reminder, you know you can get in touch with uh, many of us to different ways and I would like to remind you I'm always like reading all your suggestions and can play yes. feedback on the official Space for forums and, yeah. and even in some unofficial uh, platforms such as the Discord, Discord. server. Yeah. So feel free to get in touch with me or any other uh, you know guy from the team that you see it just you know whenever you want uh, what, no matter the reason. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, guys, and we hope to see you in the next streaming. Bye! Bye, see ya!